Right, uh, I'm now working on my internal storage solutions. What I've done, I've built this sort of grid box, if you like. I've doweled, it's all dowel and glue, but it hasn't worked out as well as I, th I hoped. I have dowel and glued stuff before um, with MDF, which works a lot better. This, um, I mean, you have to get it so perfect if you're dowel and gluing. Uh, and I haven't with this. You can see, uh, you know, some some gaps. But, you know, I'm not going to start crying about it. It will work. I might have to face it off or something. But once it's Osmoed in that, it will work. It's very difficult doing precision woodwork when you haven't got precision tools. Unlike my buddy here on the farm. That's the kind of thing you can do. If you have got precision woodworking tools... But um, I haven't, so um, I just make do and mend and get on with it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to try and work out how I'm going to fit that in and then get osmoing, and hopefully that's pretty much the woodwork done then, which is a big chore out the way. Uh, so, yeah, I shall update you as I get on. I shall see you later. Goodbye. Right, that is that sort of... Uh block furniture whatever unit now made i've decided to i, I was i've just faced it off with some um some strips of six mil ply uh, there's a bit of storage at the end there and i'll do something with that because that'll be sort of facing into the cabin um so yeah i was sort of thinking about using having it square you know not these areas here and just facing it off at the front with a single uh, piece of six mil ply but uh, have holes cut into it which would have given it a bit of a retro look um, but it would have been quite complicated and it would have hampered uh, access a little bit so I decided against that um, and just went for function and ease really so it's turned out okay um, obviously the facing it off with these bits which will obviously keep stuff in when the van's moving um, I think it'll be quite good and functional. It's actually quite a lot of storage, that, um, for smaller items, etc. So, uh, yeah, I shall uh, fit that when it's dry and see how that all looks. <clears throat> right, good morning all. Sunday again. I'm not going to go on a religious uh, vent this time, though. Um, I'm going to take you through a bit of work I've got done and uh, that has been got done. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, we'll see where we are with the van. So, firstly, as you can see, my mother has really come out good. She's done all the uh, uh, quilting, if you like, the covers for my mattresses. Uh, and they all fit beautifully. It's absolutely fantastic. I could not be happier. It's a, a really good job. It's even personalised. There you go. Handmade for you by Jane Ross. So... My mother immediately goes to the top of the class to administer the distribution of pencils. I, however, will not be. I'm not quite sure where I place myself in the in the class at the moment. I may well be stood in the corner with my uh, pointed hat on. I'll see what you think about that. What I've done is I've fitted in this unit now, <laughs> and it's sort of it's almost it's a weird thing. It's very functional. But it's sort of imposing, and it, it sort of looks down at you like a like a block of Soviet housing or something. It's very um, it's very imposing. It's also very boarding school. I'm um, I went to boarding school in the in the sort of mid '80s, and lock anyone else who did will instantly recognise that form of furniture design. Everyone had their own little slot. So yeah, it's a bit clunky, but it's a bare unit, remember. So uh, I'm not entirely sure about it. I've literally just chucked it in there. It's not fixed in properly. Um, don't know. What do you think? You know, I'd, I'd like to. Uh, I'd like some comments. Remember, though, like I say, it's a bare unit. You know, in time it will be filled up. This side here, my plan is to have it as sort of an extension to the bar. 
so I'll, 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 I'm going to make something that will go on that side so it won't just be bare um, ply like that but yeah let me know what you think um, yes and I'll show you the bar now I've just chucked a few cans in there for, for sizing really uh, yeah my plan is to make a bit of a feature of that bar I'm going to jazz it up like a mofo it's going to have mood lighting it's going to have uh, loads of features it will fit 26 uh, 500 cl cans because yeah, it does go all the way back in there it's the entire length of that unit so it's big um so there's enough space for drinks etc so i'm i'm going to fit some glasses i'm going to muck around with this side of it and possibly encroach on the the drink space a little bit just to make it nice and fit some glasses and general drinking sort of um, accoutrements and accessories and whatnot so that is going to be you know big fiddly work which I'm just going to do as and when but yeah the the unit um, is is problematic let's put it that way we'll see how we get on with that I look forward to the comments right a little bit of work I'm quite happy with is I fitted up um, a curtain rail with some curtains. Uh, that was an exceptionally simple job. This curtain rail is extendable and spring-loaded. It's basically made for um, neck curtains. I might have to support it with a little bracket in the middle, but it's not really necessary. They're quite light, these curtains. They need to be cut down, I suppose, to... Um, take them to my mother to have them cut down but i forgot so uh, they work very well they're just they're blackout thermal curtains they were cheap on ebay and again you know fitting of those with the pole was you know literally minutes it was nothing right something else i need to sort of decide on the design of is this this is the front of of my this main unit that's causing me so many headaches um, it's, as you can see, it's a, a, just a bare piece of ply face. And it's not a particularly nice piece of ply. It's got some uh, weather marks in which we couldn't sand out. And I can't obviously put doors or access in or anything like that because the whole unit is filled with storage solutions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically make a sort of scrapbook. Before these all blow away, this is what I've been doing. I've just got loads of Bond-esque... Uh, things so what I'm going to do in no you know in a haphazard sort of scrapbook type collagey thing I'm going to have a bit of a bond uh, thing going on there I'll have to do a trial piece first but what I'm hoping is because I sort of messed these up a bit I bought loads on eBay I was looking for ages you know getting this one and that one and, the, and then I suddenly remembered there's this little thing around called the internet and then I just googled images and printed off hundreds of them so yeah I, I dumbed out a bit there but yeah that's what that's going to be uh i can't do any snazzy features with this it is literally just um a face apply so that is my plan for that um so yeah i'll have to do a test sample first just with these paper ones that i've printed stick them down find out what sticks best whether it's pva or something like that and then satin varnish over it and hope that the paint doesn't run i basically just come out with an idea of how i'm going to put all those there because the bed obviously will be opening and closing so i can't just leave them as paper because they'll just get scuffed up and obviously you know people's feet and all that sort of stuff so they need to be protected somehow so yeah that's another little job uh which i need to sort of think about occasionally Right, uh, yeah, it's a bit content light, really, this episode. It's just the way it is for projects. You know, sometimes you don't get what appears to be a lot done. Uh, but yeah, with this project, um, as with every good Bond villain, they've all got a number two. And I've, um, I've got myself a number two. He's my brother, and he's come out with some some pretty good ideas he's come out with a particular idea recently which i'll show you a clip of in a second but it, pre it presents many problems because fitting this kind of stuff might mean me taking apart a lot of what i've done just to get just to run cables etc which would be worth it because i do want to incorporate this stuff 
um, it's really, really good, really interesting and will be really good fun. So um, I will show you a clip of that now. Um, and this is where we end this episode. So uh, have yourselves a nice Sunday and I will see you in episode whatever it is, seven, six, next time anyway. Catch you later. Bye.